Hello everyone and welcome to Fog Project videos where you get to see basically demonstrations of how to do different things with Fog which is a computer cloning and management software. It's also open source and freely available to all. Uh, we'll be using version uh, trunk version 6619 which is uh, basically the non-release uh, this is what will be fog 1.3.0 in the future so what you see in this video will probably be identical to what you see in the 1.3.0 release and today we'll be installing 7-zip which is a file compression utility which is also open source so firstly we're going to be grabbing a copy of 7-zip and we're going to use the MSI so uh, their MSI copy is located under their download tab over here and I want the 64-bit version because my OS is 64-bit I'm going to click download go ahead and grab a copy of that it's a pretty small file so that's downloaded I'm going to log into fog now and I'm going to go to my snap-in management area and click create new snap-in and the snap-in name is not so important uh, for this demo I'm going to call it 7-zip x64 because that makes sense to me whatever you name your snap-ins should make sense to you my storage group will be default that's what most of you will probably have my snap-in run with is msiexec.exe which is a Microsoft program for installing MSI's snap-in run with argument is slash i for install these are just MSI exec arguments you can find the full list in MSI execs uh, help menu snap-in file we're just gonna pick the uh, 7-zip MSI that we downloaded click and pick that snap in arguments will be slash quiet this is a uh, MSI specific argument um, and that's it we'll click add and at this point all we've done is we've created a snap in that's it it's not installed on the computer it's not being deployed you see it's not in my uh, programs and features list here um, we have to associate this snap-in with a host so now we go to the host management area and click list all hosts right now I have this host it's my living room computer it's actually this computer um, I'm going to click on that and go to snap-ins there's nothing in the list well we have to uh, this list shows what snap-ins are associated so we'll click this checkbox to add an association. We'll add the uh, 7-zip snap-in. Okay, and now it's in the list. We've associated it. But still, it's not yet deployed. We have to still deploy this snap-in. So we'll go to Basic Tasks, Advanced, Single Snap-in. And then the associated snap-ins for this host will show up in this list and you can pick from them and then you could uh, you could schedule the task if you wanted to in different ways you can uh, tell it to, sh to uh, this this shutdown after task completion it's not for snap-ins uh, that's for imaging I think mm, no I'm not sure but the proper way to schedule a shutdown after uh, snap-in runs is uh, here in the uh, snap in itself there's a checkbox reboot after install you would check that if you want your computer to reboot after this snap in runs so we'll go back to the host real quick list all hosts living room computer we've already associated the snap in see there it is now we just have to deploy it so we'll go to basic tasks advanced single snap in and then there it is the one we have right now and we'll go ahead and uh, create that task so we've created it it's uh, deploying not deployed yet 
and uh, we will see it eventually in the fog log here on the C drive. Uh, under the snap-in client area, we'll see some things appear there. This will disappear. Ah, it's running now. See, it's in progress. Okay, now it's done. It's deployed. In the fog log, we should see some stuff in there about the 7-zip uh, snap-in. And there it is. There's all the arguments that we specified. And it says finished. Finished installing duration. Uh, looks like maybe 10 seconds, maybe 10 milliseconds, I'm not sure, but pretty fast. Um, and then under programs and features, if we refresh this, yep, there's 7-zip. Awesome. So that's how you would deploy a, uh, an MSI at a basic level with, uh, with FOG, what will be 1.3.0. Um, also, you can deploy this snap-in through groups as well. If you had 5,000 computers registered with your FOG server and you had the FOG client installed on all of them, you could put all of those hosts into a single group and then deploy a snap-in or many snap-ins to the group instead of individually to each individual host. So it's quite powerful. It can manage quite a few uh, clients. And um, here's FOG's website, fog, uh, fogproject.org. There is a wiki filled with lots of good information. And there's also a forums if you have any questions. And uh, usually you get answers for, on the forums very, very fast. It's a very active forums because FOG is such a popular product for managing and cloning computers. Um, well, that's all. I hope that you learned something and uh, subscribe if you liked the video and uh, come and check out more FOG stuff in the wiki and more FOG videos on the channel. See you later.